Emily and Roger talk, talk cooking. cooking. Episode one, mac and cheese comparison. So recently, re- reviews have come out that Kraft mac and cheese has fallen in popularity and quality. So Emily and I thought we'd do a, a mac and cheese comparison of different uh, different mac and cheeses that are available on the market. Okay, so the first one that we tried was a no name, and uh, that was like a, the from uh, like the Loblaws brand, no name, the yellow box, and uh, and every mac and cheese was cooked for the, the same amount of time, six minutes or six and a half minutes on the noodles, and they're all compared on the same criteria. So the first one, like I said, was uh, the no name brand, and so Emily, you gave that one a six out of ten overall. Mm-hmm. And that was the first one that we tried. Yep. And so you like that yep. one? Your notes here, you said you like the. The taste was seasoned well. The, the uh, noodles were soft. Um, it was nice and not creamy. Not too soft, though. That, that's right, not too soft. And how, what about the sauce on this one? You like, you said it's creamy and you like the taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about the color of this one? Do you like the color of it? I think it's, it's a, it, like it was, was cold and I don't even know what you were eating. It's right here, Emily. <laughs> it's an orange, you said it was an orangey yellowy, and it looked a lot like Kraft Dinner. Yeah, it was nice, and this one you gave a 6 out of 10 overall, and that was the no-name brand. Yeah. Next one we tried was the PC Deluxe Cheddar, and that one we cooked the noodles for 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, this one you said the uh, the noodle flavor has a good flavor, the firmness was just right, which is al dente when it comes to pasta, right? I like firmness. Yeah. It was a good cheesy sauce. And then again, you said this one's a nice color. It was more yellow than the first one. And this one you gave an overall of? Six out of ten. Six out of ten, yep. Honestly, I think a lot of them have nice colors. Yeah, they all have nice colors to them? Mm-hmm. Which do you prefer more? Do you prefer the yellow color or the white color of the pasta? Orange yellow. <laughs> Orange yellow. Okay, so the third one we tried was um, Food Basics Selection Pasta. And again, we cooked these noodles for six minutes and 30 seconds. And uh, this one, uh, I think you liked pretty good. It was really cheesy, which you liked. It was nice and firm, like you said. I always found all these noodles to be, um, and then the, and the sauce too, to be too salty. Really? Yeah. I like salt. You like the salt in them? And this one you said was a very orange in color, but it was a good orange, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one you gave... Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. And the one thing you said about this one when you're reading it, you thought this one was the Kraft Dinner brand. Interesting, eh? And the next one we tried was number four, which was Kraft Dinner, I'm guessing. Kraft Dinner Original. These noodles I cooked for seven minutes. I actually just asked. Did you? Well, you're right. Kraft Dinner Original. We cooked the noodles for six minutes. And you said it was seasoned well. The noodles were firm. And then you said something interesting about the sauce on this one. You said the sauce was a little bit too... You said it was too thin. It was, um... Like it was too... Like it was saucy, but the sauce, but the, the sauce was watery. And, uh... I don't like watery yeah. sauce. Yeah. And this one was, um... Orangey. And you gave it... How much did you give this one, Emily? Five? 5.5. 5. 5. 5. And then did you, you said about this one? That looks like an S. Well, I know. My fives look like S's. You said this is not the best mac and cheese. That was your, your final comment? No. <laughs> it was not the best mac and cheese. I think this one was my favorite, I think. Uh, the PC White Cheddar brand. So the President's Choice White Cheddar. Uh, these noodles I cooked for seven minutes. Uh, it was a nice cheesy taste. Um, good firmness to the pasta. I think all of them were nice and firm. Uh, this one he said was nice and creamy, like the yellow sauce. He said it was perfect, actually. It wasn't too saucy. It was creamy, but not too saucy. And look you just, look what you said here, Emily. You like the yellow sauce better, because it looks better. But the nice and orange looks more original. <laughs> you keep changing your mind. And this one you gave 7 out of 10. It looks like a backwards pillowcase though. It does. Yes. Well, that's how I make my 7s. In case you're wondering, that's my 7 there. It's backwards, but there you go. (laughs) Okay, so... Now it looks like an actual lowercase (laughs) F. 
Okay, so that one, I think that was my favorite. I like the President's Choice stuff. But you gave it a 7 out of 10, which is a good number. Then this Better one... 5.5. Yep. And then this one was... We put it down as homemade, but it wasn't homemade. It was the Bulk Barn powdered sauce. You remember that one? Yes, I remember. Yeah, the taste was good. And I forget which noodles we used. The noodle taste. We used, I think it was Baroli. The noodle taste was good. The noodle taste was good. But it was way too saucy. And, and I used chunky. And I used smoked cheddar in the. It was uh, chunky. It was chunky. It was wasn't chunky. It was grainy, like little tiny chunks, I guess. Uh, but I used smoked cheddar in there to give it some more flavor, which me you may not have liked that. Um, you like the color though, but overall you said you prefer the box ones. Um, you gave it four out of ten. I like the five one. Yeah. Well, that's when you gave four out of ten. And, but you like the noodles, you, you like the noodles that were, uh, the Baroli noodles, as compared to the box noodles, so. You still, you still have to do the fully homemade one. That's, that's next, I went fully homemade. Yeah. So Emily's homemade. Six. Mac and cheese. That was, that was the full, that was, number six was the homemade one. Oh. And number seven is the fully homemade one. Emily's homemade one, it's in my hand right here, Emily. That's when you made the bechamel. So part of your cooking classes is you made a bechamel sauce. I don't go to cooking class. No, your home cooking classes. I'm teaching you how to cook. Yeah. I have. I've teach, taught you. I taught you bechamel. Uh, Schnitzel? No. Well, well, the sauces I've made. I've shown you Schnitzel. bechamel. You made um, chicken stock, brown beef stock, stock, chicken stock. I like I like calling it gravy. The, well, you made the demi glace was the gravy. Like you made uh, and you made uh, Espan you made Espanol sauce. Like so those are your cooking classes you've had so far. And schnitzel. And schnitzel. So you did your three breading station. I still like the schnitzel sauce better. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to Emily's homemade bechamel cheese sauce. <laughs> the noodle flavor was perfect. Because don't whenever you cook noodles in hot water, like water, water. We can smell the face. What do you? How do you cook your noodles, Emily? When the water tastes like the ocean. Yes. See. Right. The sauce was nice and creamy. You gave her flavor, good overall flavor. It tasted like cheese. Remember, we had, we had to add a little bit more cheddar to it. Why does that say dirt? It doesn't say dirt, it says dry. What's it? What's it like dirt? No, oh, it doesn't say dirt, it says dry. Our food doesn't taste like dirt, Emily. Okay, so the color was a good color. <laughs> we used orange cheddar and Parmesan cheese, which I thought was nice. Um, the, the Parmesan cheese gives it nice, you know, strong flavor. And then overall, you gave this one 8.5. Not quite the 9 I was looking for, but not close. bad for a cook. It was close. It was close. I should have given it a 10 out of 10. You should have given it a 10 out of 10? Not that one. Oh. Oh, oh, your favorite one? The uh, food, food basic selection? Mm -hmm. Okay, so overall, that was, our, that was our mac and cheese right. comparison. So what did you learn from that? Anything? Anything? Or? There's a whole bunch of types of cheese in this. There's a whole bunch of types of cheese in this. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Uh, that's all you learned? The cheesiness? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, There's a well, that, well, that's it for our, our, our uh, Emily and uh, Roger, Roger talk, talk, cooking. <laughs> talk cooking mac and cheese. But I thought we would end these uh, episodes with something. I call something I didn't know. Bootsy! Do you know something I didn't know, Emily? That wild turkey sleep in trees. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> wild turkey. But before we end the episode, we have a special guest. We have a special guest. Come on over here, special guest. His name is Bootsy. <laughs> hey, Boots. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That is the end of Emily and Roger <laughs> Talk Cooking Episode 1, Mac and Cheese. All right. See you later. Bye.